As we begin this third week of fasting and pray, first, can I just say, man, you've made it. Way to go. Thank you for staying with it. Now, let me challenge and encourage you. This week is really about praying, not just for yourself, not just for the church, but the mission of the church, your mission, your life purpose. Why are you here? Well, when you, when you look at the teachings of Jesus, there's really obvious thing he's saying. He goes, the great commandment, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. We exist to love God and love each other, right? And then before uh, the gospel of Matthew concludes, and before Jesus ascends into heaven, in Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, he says, Therefore, go into all the world and make disciples of all nations, teaching them to observe everything I've taught you, and I will be with you always, even to the very end of time. And so the challenge is that we love God, love each other, and love people who are far away from God enough to share and show God's love with them. Before we share God's love and show God's love, we have to experience God's love and we have to pray for others. Meaning, let's not talk about people, let's talk to God about people. Meaning, before you tell people about God, tell God about the people you care about. Would you take some time today, pray for your neighbors, pray for your coworkers, pray for your classmates, pray for your colleagues. Take some time to make a list of all of their names and begin to pray for them that they would come to know Jesus and you would have an opportunity to share God's love with them.